So if you look at some of the videos on my channel currently, I actually haven't posted a proper commentary on a released Nintendo game since earlier in August with my Zelda Breath of the Wild review. And although I've discussed Nintendo games since then, I haven't really made many videos about Splatoon 2 or some other Switch titles in the last couple of months. And this is mainly due to the fact that I'm not really playing on the Switch as much lately. Now to be clear, this isn't particularly because there's something specific I dislike about the system. In fact, I'm becoming more impressed with its game lineup and technical capabilities every day. But the main reason I've been drawn away from the Switch in the last couple of months is the lack of social features features connecting me with friends. So I know some of you watching may only be familiar with Nintendo's version of online and might be fine with what it has to offer in its current state, but as someone like me who's been on Xbox since the days of the Wii, it's hard to digress from the standard online services I've grown accustomed to offered by companies such as Microsoft and Sony, so I find it difficult to transfer to a system that functions in such a different way. So I want to discuss in this video both why the lack of decent social features concern me for the Switch's future, as well as why I'm certainly not done using or supporting the Switch in its current state. So over the last month I've begun to realize what's meaningful to me in a game. I've been playing a lot more Xbox titles recently and been having a lot of fun with friends. Social games such as Destiny 2 or Overwatch have become more appealing to me and I've been enjoying a simple grind or a friendly competition while playing these games. And I realized in this last week that the Xbox One or PlayStation 4 actively encourages these types of experiences and makes it easier to party up with friends and have a great time without having to hassle with external devices. I've sort of taken their online services for granted. I'm now realizing just how seamless it all is and how much more fun it makes my every gaming experience. Even when playing single player titles such as Fallout 4, the ability to party up makes it so much more fun. I can easily have a conversation with friends about a game or about school while still having a great experience with the game. On the few occasions I have time to play games on the weekends, I find myself having to make a decision between powering on the Xbox or the Switch. I look at each, wondering what I would enjoy at that particular moment, and lately I've been choosing the Xbox almost every time. This is mostly due to the easily accessible social features that the system has to offer, which I find to be important to me since I don't have much time anymore to play video games. I'd rather spend the free time I do have on the weekend playing games such as Destiny 2 with a friend rather than Splatoon 2 without one. I simply know less people who own a Switch and could play Switch games with me, which would be fine if the Switch made it easier to find new people or friends to play with, but it really doesn't. The only party system on the Switch is through a phone application that I and many others are completely unimpressed with so far. Not only is it separate from the Switch, therefore inherently more difficult than if the system was directly implemented, but it also doesn't let you party up unless you're in a specific game. One of the best things about the social features on other consoles is that you can still talk with people even when not in a game or switching between them. Your connection is never broken up unless you physically click the button to leave the party, and you can always start a new one at any time. I believe this is something the Switch needs if it wants to continue to battle these major companies. I mean, it is doing well so far, but this implementation would be a major turning point for the company. But I'm still pretty sure Nintendo wouldn't go this route, as they seem to be doing pretty well financially even without it, and they seem too invested in that app to justify completely reworking the social structure of the Switch. So I find that I've been enjoying Xbox games more lately. In the past couple of weeks, I've been playing Destiny 2 to see where I was right and wrong with my first impressions. Although the game is growing on me, it certainly still isn't in the right place. But it doesn't really matter to me. Everyone in my group of school friends has it, and we have a blast on the weekends playing it together. Even if there are some disappointing aspects to it. I feel that games like Splatoon 2 would benefit greatly from a system such as this, and would certainly get me more involved in the franchise. Honestly, I haven't played Splatoon 2 in a few weeks, and that's not because I don't enjoy the game, I just have more fun playing different games with friends. Splatoon 2 is a really good game, but I find that with my limited time, I'd rather play quick games with friends on Xbox rather than quick games by myself on the Switch. But even through everything I've said in this video about the lackluster social features in the system, the Switch is still a great and promising console with a ton of cool upcoming games. I'm really excited for Super Mario Odyssey, and I've already pre-ordered a physical copy of it off of Amazon in case they're sold out. Hopefully it'll get here on day one, as single player games are what the Switch does best in my opinion. Even though I may not be having as much fun as I could with Splatoon 2, I'm really excited for a 3D Mario to be coming to the system, as I've expressed in other videos about the topic. So I think the main takeaway from this video is that the Switch's lack of proper social features needs to be addressed to keep people's interest with the system, specifically with multiplayer games. The removal of Miiverse was the last bit of contact we had with the rest of the Nintendo community. Now it's primarily through Facebook and Twitter, which are both platforms I don't currently use. I really hope Nintendo realizes this and adds at least some extension to the limited social interactions we have now. Otherwise, I'm not sure if their amazing games alone will be able to keep me loyal for the years to come. Unless they port a Fallout 4, of course, in which case I won't need an Xbox and the Switch will suddenly become my only console. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.